Hey, welcome to SEO Crawl. Uh, I'm really excited to present you the rank tracker of SEO Crawl. It's like a keyword performance um, tracker, and it allows you to see all types of SEO metrics, clicks, impressions, CTR, average position, and also use our own technologies like advanced filters and smart views and other tools that will allow you to save time, be more efficient, and especially achieve better results. So with your permission, I'm sharing you a case study of our own company, of SEO Pro, and I'm showing you the data we have. So as you can see, all the potential and use cases that you can use. So as you can see in the screenshots, our top keywords, if we sort them by clicks, are dominated by the sitemap article. One of our team members did like an amazing article about how to find your sitemap, but that, that's also like not really great because it doesn't show us like more keyword than sitemap. Everything is about how to check sitemap, how to find your sitemap. But in this case, we are also interested in other type of metrics like rank tracker and maybe like SEO dashboard, SEO reporting. But as there are like too many of keywords related to the sitemap, we are not able to see them. So now when it comes the magic of like advanced filter and smart tools. So we'll click here in advanced filters and we'll say, okay, I would love to exclude all the keywords which contains like the expression map that will contain sitemap together and separated like all the types of uh, sitemap keywords. If we apply it, suddenly not just like the, the keyword it itself, but also like the KPIs at the top have been updated so as we can know the metrics also about them. So in this case, it says that if I exclude all the traffic from the sitemap articles, suddenly we go from 6,000 visits per month to nearly like 300. And that also includes like keywords that I don't want to see here. For example, I have selected already that everything that contains SEO crawl together or separated is considered like a brand keyword. So in this case, I would go to advanced filter, new condition, and I would say exclude, please, the brand keyword. I apply the sorting and again, the list and the KPIs have been updated. And that way I can see really like a much a precise uh, report in the terms of keywords performance without all the keywords I don't want to see. And here, as an SEO professional, what I would do is, for example, like sort the keywords by impression so I can see the keywords with the highest potential of traffic. Uh, but it's not really accurate there because it's showing like global data. It's not super accurate. So I will implement a few more improvements. I will say, please include only United States. I will apply a keyword. Again, both KPIs and list are updated. And as you can see here, the list that now will be generated contains a ton of keywords with all type of metrics. But in this case, as I don't have much time, uh, probably the same as you, I will segment and I will say, please only include the keywords which have more than 500 impressions. It's greater than 500. As you can see, from like a really broad report with too many keywords, too many data that probably I cannot use, I have transformed that into a report that I can use. It's actionable. I can directly go into the report and say, okay, uh, those keywords really make sense and have like a high potential for me. And as you can see them, uh, th those are like our core keywords, rank tracker, SEO visibility, SEO reports. As an SEO software company, those are the keywords that we would love to use. So which option do we have right now? Really easy. We can export them in CSV, Excel, or Google Sheets directly in case we want to collaborate with our team members, even if we can share this report with our clients, with our team, with whoever we would like. But one thing that is very important is we can save this into a smart view. What does it mean? Imagine needing to filter this every single day in case you would like to see this data. It would be time consuming, it would not be efficient, and it would be like a, a waste of time. So in order to avoid that, we have implemented Save to Smart View. Basically, it will save all the filters into one single view. In this case, I will say, for example, um, non-branded keywords USA plus 500 impressions. Ah, plus, sorry, no statement. I will save it, and I know that every time I need to check something about those keywords, I can directly implement this smart view and all the filters will be directly loaded. In your case, how you can use this? Really simple. Um, core keywords from United States or from Spain. I would like to know the difference between including or excluding the traffic from our blog uh, pages and blog articles. I would love to know how like landing pages X 
are converting and are performing compared to landing page uh, why so the the possibilities are are unlimited and i would really love to to know your feedback please so please feel free to check it out and um, if you have like any doubt or something more than happy to make a demo to present everything you will get also like 14 days enterprise account for free and if anything we'll be more than happy to help you assist with your next steps so looking forward to your thoughts on on the rank broker of seo crop thank you so much